Tucked away. Andrew Russell gets going. Gets going very early in this game. Oh, he wrenched it, didn't he? He hit the ball with all the disdain and contempt in the world. Wow. Flatter than flat, that six was. Flat batter, it hardly went off the ground. I mean, it didn't go high. It really didn't go high. Normally, it would go, it would be very high and over the ground. It's so flat. Very nearly hit those boundary boards. But good start. Very good start. It's a six. So already seven runs of two balls. Well, although it's a five over affair, we hope that you've uh, gone on to your My11 Circle app and picked uh, your favorite players, your fantasy team. Andrew Russell should be in that squad. <laughs> Giving himself room. Another boundary. And this is Russell's style of batting in T20s. Took a lot of pace on the ball. He was looking to bowl the change up. It's just that Russell anticipated it very well. He just opened that front foot, waited for it. And then with that large gap, the length allowed him to play that shot. He psyched out the baller, didn't he? He knew it's going to be a slow delivery. He was ready for it. He was into the position quickly and executed it with authority. He's hot at the moment. It was a mile 11 circle champion shot, I'll tell you. It was such a champion shot because he read it well. The anticipation was good. He was waiting. Just have a look how he opens up a bit, Andrew Russell. That front foot just uh, goes a little bit wider. And he goes again. Bat on ball and it flies all the way for a six. Uh, if the batsman is given the license to go after the baller, you have to feel for the ballers. And especially when Andre Russell is batting. Well, is his coming events casting shadows? They've got, what, 17 runs of four balls? By the looks of it, they might get more than 20 runs. So, well, we're going to be in for some real entertainment. And it's not Bam Bam stuff. He's watching the ball closely. He's getting into good positions very early. And that's why he's been able to execute some breathtaking strokes under Russell. Gentlemen, spare a thought for the bowlers. Ball getting wet, the flat wicket, and then balling to Andre Russell. You have to feel for the ballers. Two fielders outside the 30 yard circle, a deep mid wicket, a wide third man. Wide signal. Will have to reload. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. What was Amir complaining about? He knew it was a wide. <laughs> He, he, I, th I think he tried. He really tried to get in a dot ball. Maybe he was making a case for himself that since Andre Russell backed away from the stumps. But didn't impress the umpire at all. Three boundaries for Andre Russell in this first over. Remember, it's a five overs per innings affair. Easy as you like. And it's another. My 11 circle. Championship. Did we have rain? Did we ever have rain here? Look at the pace of the outfield. Man, it's just flying. It's just flying off the bat. We were talking about three hours of solid rain. But this outfield, it may look a little bit damp, but it is traveling. And you can understand what uh, Mohamed Amir is trying to do. He's trying to go just within that uh, tram line through the offside so that Russell can't reach the ball. He responds well, just presents the face of the bat and beats the fielder in that sweeper boundary. So that's good cricket all around. How heavy is the bat? He just guided the ball, didn't he? 22 already from this over. Final delivery. And it goes for four. How unfortunate. Most expensive over of the tournament so far 26 of the over
the first over. Well, the hierarchy, the management, they look a little bit shell-shocked. 26 runs in the first over. Asita Fernando. A young, quick, 22 games, 26 wickets. Spoken about his potential, spoken about what is, what is expected of him. Again, we've spoken about how important this tournament is. Another learning curve for him. Five-over game, how do you bowl? What do you do? Will he learn or will he be scarred? He's only 23 years old. But I guess as a cricketer, the bad experiences strengthens your resolve. Here he is, first delivery. Goes for a wide and add four. I think every bad experience is a good teacher. It teaches you, it just makes you better. So I believe that youngsters like Asita are bound to benefit immensely out of this. This is Russell in the first over. 26 runs coming from it. He's just clearing that front foot to give himself room to access the ball through the onside, through the offside, using the pace. And most importantly, he used the angle. And that's very important for a batsman. That's in the air. And taken. First blood drawn. Milinda Should Sirivardhan. give him a lot of confidence. Melinda Sirivardhan, the catcher, that was a very good catch. It was, it was running away from him. He had to come around. <coughs> you spoke about uh, this being a learning experience. This will do a wealth of good for Fernando getting a wicket in his first over. Just allowed Andrew Russell to get strike as they crossed. Wide. And that's not a bad plan, as I mentioned earlier to Russell, because he drives on that bottom hand to tuck the ball to leg. This was a wicket. Here, take a look at the catch. Sirivardhana had to remember, he had to keep an eye on the boundary line. That's what's difficult. He'll have to make sure that he stays inside the line, keep his eyes on the ball, and he did that perfectly. And the best thing he did over there, when he caught that one, he kept his balance on the right-hand side. That's why he stayed with... Oh, that's a big hit. Another six. I thought the plan was to go wide. There's a man on the back foot point boundary. See, the mistake Asita did was going straight and on the pads with mid wicket open. So we speak about the experience, the learning curve. So these are these are good, good moments, good lessons that he could learn. I've also seen some bowlers go round the wicket and use the angle from round as a right-hander and push the ball across Andre Russell. If you bowl full and wide, it's very difficult for you to find the power as a batsman to clear the ropes. And he goes again. Can he get it right? 
Rita. Fuller beats the fielder. Will be two. That's good running. Well, we've spoken about sparing a thought for the bowlers. You bowl a good ball or a bad ball, it's going to disappear. And with a guy like Russell, it could disappear to... You wouldn't know where. It could go off an inside edge, it could fly off the middle of the bat. Yeah, he's kind of a batsman who doesn't require a bad ball. He turned those good deliveries into bad ones. The scoring options. Another one. Flat batted it. And another my, circ my 11 circle. Champion boundary. This cricket suits you guys the best. It suits you guys so well. Shorter the game is, you guys just love it, don't you? You're sure right, Roshan. And that's because of the physical power that you see from guys like Andrew Russell. The fact that uh, West Indies team in the T20 format, they have a high percentage of uh, boundaries when they bat. Roshan, were you complimenting or? My 11 circle, champion fan of the day on your screen, enjoying the match on his phone. And if you want to be one of them, make your team on my 11 circle and play with the champions, just like Andre Russell. In the process, he broke his back and got a new one. Must be heavier. Must be heavier. Because the last stroke bounced within the boundary line. He's not happy about that. He wanted it to go for a six. We find the fielder. Oh my God! And he fumbles. Well, well, well. Well, it's about minimizing the damage in a five-over game. Now, had that been one run, he would have been so happy. We were complimenting Sirivardhana for the outstanding catch. And look what happens. Well, that ball was traveling. I think he lost his balance. Overran. Didn't amuse the baller at all. It's moments like that. It adds insult to injury, especially when the opposition batting is dominating. You need your fielders to support the bowlers. Haven't seen that yet from the goal gladiators. Goes straight and goes long. One bounce into the boundary. Russell on fire. End of the power play overs. It's 52 for one. scorecard 52 for one in just two overs remember it's a five over for team affair truncated game because of the rains that we've experienced the signal from the umpire the end of the power play Munchikome a flavored rice cracker to enjoy and enrich yourself someone is taking two packs home Might be his dinner. We all enjoy a snacking moment. I oh, sure. love it. I love it. Munchy is a brilliant brand. Mohamed Shiraz. Well, look, look. He's quite green as a cricketer. Very, very young. He's seen two more, il two illustrious colleagues going for 26 runs in an over. But that's a good start. That is a very good start. Going full. And just outside the off stump. It was a Yorkerland and at the same time cramped the batsman who was looking to heave the ball on the onside. That's a good start to the over. And under pressure.
edged away, fortuitous boundary. It's raining boundaries in this innings. Colombo Kings on fire with the bat. It doesn't matter how it comes, as long as it comes. It could be off the middle of the bat, or it could be an inside edge. All they want in five overs is value. Value for their shots. Things not going the way for the Gold Gladiators bowlers. Just a single. Five runs from the over so far. That is unstoppable. Andrew Russell playing that stroke with the full face of the bat and yet again registering my 11th circle champion stroke. Does he get it? Does he get it? No, he doesn't. The reason why I was saying that there are three players who have scored a half century in T20 cricket in just 12 deliveries. Yuvrat Singh, Chris Gale, Nusratullah Zazai. Andrew Russell had a chance of achieving the same feat, but he didn't. You know the reason why? He's not a left-hander. <laughs> Excellent full delivery, getting it into the block hole. As you want to consistently see from bowlers, especially when you're trying to contain opposition batsmen. It's been a good over. Bringing yeah. some assemblance. Impressed with Chiras, very impressed with him. He's held his nerve and he's looked to bowl that particular area, he's gone full. And he succeeded so far. Seven runs of five balls is a brilliant return. Spoiled. Conceding a boundary. And of the third, it's 63 for one. We hope that many of you are looking on broadcast partners uh, for the LPL, Sony, ITN, PTV and Geo in Pakistan, K-Sport, Sportmax and the digital partners as well. You can use that platform to join the action. Lots more to come in this contest. Goes high, goes long. Gets a good result, Colombo Kings continue to pile on the runs. Absolutely, Shiraz's last two was good, just 11 runs. It was a great uh, performance when you, when you consider that there were 26 runs overs. And this is a good start to the over. Colombo Kings looking to make amends for what they lost out in that Shiraz over. Strike rates, quite impressive goes again and another six wow good support for Andre Russell it's not Mohammed Amish night definitely not whatever he has tried gone to the boundary line second successive six 44 from 14, this partnership between Evans and Russell. Neil's a good Yorker. 
And if you're wondering why Andrew Russell and Laurie Evans are able to get under the ball and to clear the boundary line, that's because they're batting deep in their crease. It's very hard for a bowler to get that Yorker right. That's a full toss. They can get under the ball, free their arms. And we've seen lots of sixes in this innings. Five sixes so far. And with that, just back of the land delivery. They can hit it through offside or pull the ball towards mid-wicket. As a batsman, you get so many options to hit the ball out of the ground. He should be a happy man, Gibbs. Oh, nicely done. It's not all prone when it comes to Andre Russell. There are brains as well. 53 of what, 14 balls? Eight fours and three sixers, and the strike rate is 378. Fifth fastest mm. half century in T20 cricket. No surprises there. Andrew Russell holds that position now. Wow, we've seen some great entertaining striking. Partnership of 49. Mohamed Amir so far has gone for 44 runs. Oh, he's struggling, isn't he? All he could do is smile, wry smile on his face. I'm trying, nothing is happening. Sorry, Captain. Look, it's not easy conditions as well for bowlers. Quite wet. I'm sure the ball is a bit slippery. Go short, not a bad option. You always see Andre Russell set himself for full deliveries. And it's a good change up as a bowler to go short, get it high. Just make him think a little bit more. Yeah, variations will be very important. And yes, as you said, Russell was quickly moving away because his anticipation, his premeditation was something else. 19 runs, 5 balls. What would be the last ball? 82 of what? 23 deliveries. Well, I can't ask for anything more than what we've seen so far. Some beautiful ball striking. Four has gone 83 for one. Russell Power 54 from 15, well he's flying. And so too we are in the commentary box. Mushan Abasinghe, Amir Soil. They're flying with their drink up here. High octane evening, flying with the Red Bull. And we expect to see more. Still Shahid Afridi, I'm sure, will feature with the bat for the Gold Gladiators. The ideal drink for these players. I think Hunter Russell had plenty of these, don't you think? I reckon so. I don't think he needs it all the time. Because that's the way he bats in T20 cricket. That's a wide far free. Now, now, i got a question to you. Now, being a West Indian and being involved with West Indies cricket, what about Russell? I mean, why? I mean, imagine how much the West Indies are missing. This man is a champion in his own right. He could win games day in and day out. That's why he saw it over the entire world in T20 cricket. Nice change of pace from Shahid Afridi. But they become very much proficient to T20 cricket. The likes of Andre Russell, Dwayne Bravo, Karam Pollard. Question is, why is he not playing for the West Indies? That's but I don't my think question. he's fully fit. As mentioned earlier, he had his issue in the IPL, didn't play all the matches. Uh, 
for the Kolkata Knight Riders. Quicker delivery. Umpire might just check the height. This borderline. Look at his striking from the sheer position that he's in. He's hitting the ball very late. Well, if you think that he's not fit, and this is what he could do when he's unfit, I shudder to think what he would be when he's fit. <laughs> well, many cricketers don't be 100% fit and they compete. I think he's an all-rounder in his own right. Bat and ball hasn't been bowling a lot, so that alone is evidence that he's not 100%. And I think from a West Indian perspective, you'd like to see all departments of his game. Watch out. He didn't decline a single. He's got a plan against Shahid Afridi. Watch out. That's it. Oh. Oh. It's not on me, man. Oh, I should have stopped. I should have stopped the boundary. Yes, he was taking his chances to catch that one. But he should have thought about stopping the ball within the boundary as well. I'm not quite sure that's the right decision because at this stage you shouldn't be thinking about getting a wicket it's about containing run scoring already 89 and that's what Afridi is so upset about should have saved his team a couple runs see in this scenario every run matters as you said a run or two saved somewhere can help them can hold them in good stead Clipped away, goes over the boundary, another six for Andrew Russell. He's making look, it look very easy. That was a gift, wasn't it? A full toss. Oh, that was marginal, very close to be a no ball. Entertain 10 fours, six sixes in the innings. Andrew Russell, a half century to his name. One delivery left in the innings. What will it be? Should be running for two. He's in a royal touch, isn't he? Andrew Russell, what entertainment! What entertainment! In five overs, he contributed heavily with 65 to the total of 96. Brilliant. Five overs completed, 96 for one. That's a really good effort on the part of the Colombo Kings. Yeah. Shahid Afridi, his expression says it all. You will be disappointed with that effort, but you've got to give credit to the effort with the bat and so to this man on screen. Russell Power doing the business for the Colombo Kings. Lesson for the coaches. When you're up against Andre Russell, your bowler should not have one plan. B as well, C as well, D as well. If you don't, uh, he's going to make you pay. What an innings from him. What an innings for him. There he goes. Looks like he hasn't really broken a sweat, Roshan. Dre Russ. And take a look at the batting card. I, I think the Gladiators did slightly better. They were going at 26 runs. They brought the average down to just under 20. But still, it's a daunting task. 96 for one, five overs. Yeah, you talked about he didn't even break a sweat. Well, if you don't understand the meaning of walk in the park, and that was walk in the park for Andre Russell, he made every baller pay. Mohammad Ahmed was the main sufferer, going for 46 in just two overs. So the target, 97 will be required from just 30 deliveries. Only time will tell whether the Gold Gladiators can get this one.
Well, we certainly had uh, plenty of action in the first half of this game. There's a bit of uh, interaction between the batsmen that were not out at the end. And Afridi was looking a little bit dark. Actually, he wasn't happy with his fielders at all. Andre Russell just pumped that ball all over the place. And the total was quite extraordinary. 100, correction, 96 it was for the loss of one. It's the highest total in a five over T20 game in the history of T20 cricket. And look at Andre Russell, 65 off 19 balls, nine fours and three sixes. And here's a look at some of the highlights. Russell Allen's alongside me. What about this, Russ? I don't know. You asking me? <laughs> Mohamed Amir, he got the ball to swing in that first delivery. And after that, he changed his length, which played into Andre Russell's hands. And there was no looking back from there. Tichila Di Silva hold out. Milinda Sirivardana, a great catch running along the boundary line. And that was that. Andre Russell had found his range. And there was no stopping him after that. Full toss, short, length, wide. It just became carnage out there. And clumsy were the gladiators. They just didn't help themselves with the lengths and lines. Neither in the field. Now this little cameo of 21 from Laurie Evans will waken him up as well. And that will serve the Colombo Kings in the games to come. All they need is some runs behind them and the confidence comes back in. Half century, Andre Russell. Still kept going, there was no stopping him. Outfield didn't matter because he, he was hitting him over that. 65 of 19. It was the fifth fastest T2050 as well for Andre Russell. And that's what they need. 97 for 30. Of course, they lost yesterday to the Gold Gladiators. So they've got to get up and make sure they win today. But there's no doubt the Kings will be quite happy at this stage. Right out, here we go. Mickey Arthur, what are your thoughts? Well, that was absolute carnage out there. Andre Russell, fantastic. I mean, it makes you think, why don't you just chuck him at the top of the order in 2020 cricket? He could almost get a double hundred in that. Um, but he was superb, still at the crease, hit through the line, played incredibly powerful cricket shots. He was amazing. And I thought Laurie Evans, as you said, Russ found his range towards the back end as well. Mohamed Amir had a massive responsibility when Andre Russell came out there. The ball did swing. He needed to use that length getting it up there and look for that wicket yeah that's right the ball did swing the first ball but he he, he then went a little bit fuller i think he might have got a little bit of gre greedy with the uh, with, with his balls and then after that it didn't swing at all right eye it's quite extraordinary he faced every delivery to andre, andre russell in that first over and he went for uh, 26 runs in the first over, so that was magnificent stuff from Russell. And uh, Zazai is a very fine player. Look at that strike rate, 147. He's someone that needs to fire right at the top for the Gore Gladiators. Rondo Russell starting proceedings, and then it was a situation, I think, of course, where they, uh, it was just all full steam ahead, that's for sure. Gunatulaka has uh, got a strike rate of 125.6. Fairly experienced with 84 games have to go from ball one. Simple as that. Zazai has a higher score of 162 in T20 cricket. How do you do that? He's very dangerous. He, he hits the ball extremely hard. Odana. Slow ball first up. Bit of a misfield, bit of a knock on. Will they come back for the second? Yes, they do. They're going to have to run back, double up with everything. Look, we've got to highlight that it's not easy. It was pretty wet when the game did start. So they're slipping around the ball, sliding or skidding off the outfield, which makes it very difficult to judge. So there are challenges for the fielders. Two in the deep, deep square leg and a long on. Was in good touch yesterday. Different ball game here today, though. Good swing. He went with the swing. A couple of bounces, and that's gone for four. Atazulu Zaiza has done extremely well at the top of the order for Afghanistan. He certainly gets him, gets him going. Oh, that was actually Danushka Gunatalaka. 
He's uh, a little bit of width. He hits extremely well over extra cover. We highlighted that fact in the first game. You can't get wet with this field. Udana, known for his change of pace, various different slower balls. Generally execute them with great control. Now he has got uh, a few variations. He's got uh, one out of the back of the hand as well, which is extremely difficult to bowl. Yeah, he's got. Isuru Dana's got so many different slower balls. His speed variation is amazing. He's he, he, and that that's what makes him the bowler he is. The key to the, to that last ball was his was his line as well. But his variation on wickets like this, particularly on flat wickets, is his biggest asset. So halfway through the first over, eight on the board at this stage. No doubt they need a boundary or two to finish this over. Hit that well enough. That's gone for six. That's a very good shot. Beautifully played. They are in the hunt. Four balls, 14. Required rate around 19. No dots. Length. But just short of a length. This pitch. Just sitting up to be spanked. Huh? No margin for error whatsoever. And the key there, Russ, as you said, the length. Length allowed Danushka to get underneath that and hit it over mid-wicket. And now the ball will be wet. The seam where it gets wet means that's a challenge for Udana. We did just mention that his strength is change of pace. So that means he needs a seam that's dry, which he can grip better to control. freedy has got the pads on. He's going to be key. Angelo Matthews is uh, providing quite a bit of support for this last, uh, well, the last couple of balls actually of this over. Changing the field as well to protect that boundary at long on. Man inside the circle, fine leg, and that's beautifully played. That's clever. That's really clever. That's a really good shot. One of one of Danushka's strengths. He, as we highlighted the other day, he thrives on wood, and and he does play these little dinks and plays them very very well. But from Udana's point of view, nothing wrong with it. That's what you want. Whoa. Skills of the batsman these days, the, the ability to read the game, so hard for bowlers. Bit of context: 26 runs scored off the first over by Andre Russell. 18 of this one so far. With one ball remaining. It's going to be called a wide. I think it is. It is a little bit of swing away as well. So in a certain, um, for argument's sake, if you bowl it full and they dink you for four, you're better off than bowling short and getting hit for six because you're saving your team two runs. I guess that's the way the bowlers need to look at it. Yeah, and again, and we have a look at Isuru Dana's speed variations there. He, his, oh, as you always say to the bowlers, you just want them to execute. You want them to bowl their best ball. And if a batsman hits you off your best ball, there's nothing you can do. So you just you don't want him to be at the back of his run up now, being tentative and not know what he's going to do. His line has got to be spot on here with third man inside the circle and also fine leg. What do we got now? A bit more protection, at long, a wide, long on. In fact, a deep uh, straight to mid wicket has gone into place. Slower balls. That's what you can try with this field. Yep. There is a man at long on as well. Now there's a bit of swing, but it's gone past the inside edge. That's a very good finish to that over. 19 for none.
So Afridi will come in next, the format he was in the uh, other night. He'll jump up that uh, batting lineup and will come in next, the fall of the first wicket. So one over gone, that's fine. 19 for none at this stage. They've still got their work cut out, obviously. It's a tall ask from here, 78 from 24 balls, that's what they need. Teams have got to get up, and teams are a little bit desperate, and they've got to win games. They can do special things, and that's what the Gould Gladiators have got to do. Chimera now. Dragging on the onside, just the single. Just run to Chimera, he can bowl with some express pace. I hope he backs himself here. Yeah? Because if he does, he'll be a difficult customer in these conditions. It's the best thing, I think, also to uh, Zaizai to get the one. And get Gunatilika on back on strike. 18 off six balls at this stage. Clever again, he's got enough on it, something they practice a lot these days. Is he going to come back for the second? Yes, he can do that quite comfortably. He bowled a good ball to finish the over through Dana. He fluffed the batsman as a Darren Ganga would say. But between the overs, have a just instructions barking out to everyone of the point we were talking about that it's difficult to feel with the water it's coming at different paces just make sure you stop the ball so that's experience for you just passing on the information that's going to be uh, bold again that's a wide and that's what you'd expect from your senior players a little bit of extra edge you've learned from playing so much of cricket and it makes a difference it makes a massive difference and 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 you, you know you you can't go down to the local supermarket and buy experience you get the experience by playing in the surya diners played and done well all around the world just on that one i don't mind him bowling that bouncer that just plays with the batsman's footwork now Straight, oh, direct hit would have been out. Shamira thought about it, bailed out. It didn't come back at him as quickly as he thought. Thought about sticking that hand out for the return catch. Would have been out by a long distance had there been any connection with those uh, stumps at the bowler's end. But just on that, he bowled the bouncer, he gave away the wide, and you don't mind that as a, 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 as a coach, because it does play with the batsman's footwork, and we didn't see the transferal of weight in that shot from Danuska. His weight was slightly back. Size iron strike now. Oh, that's solid, that's a beautiful shot, strong wrists. Pump that away for a boundary. That's a mile 11 circle champion shot. It's not easy to hit that length like that. The fuller you are, it's hard to get underneath it. Short hand jab. Geez, we've seen some outstanding shots today. It's just making us feel what's happening here. Deep mid wicket and a deep square leg. Two over par play in this five over game. I really like the way that Angelo Matthews is spending so much time chatting to his bowlers. Calm head, that's what uh, you need in these sort of situations. Beautiful bowl, that is a perfect length. You cannot do much with that at all unless you happen to be batting deep in your crease. Your name's Andre Russell. He's bowled a good over here so far. Touch wood, just went to Chimera. Pretty impressive. He's known what he's wanted to do. Hazy, you made the point about Angelo Matthews spending a lot of time with him. 
He's got plans and he's executing it. The key is if he, at the back end of his run-up, if he knows what he wants to do, commit to that decision. Dry the ball, dry the ball, and he's working the seam. He wants a dry seam. Last ball, the second over. Oh, that's whipped away. Wept away for six runs. That is a perfect way to finish over number two. So 16 runs off that over. 35 for no loss. Overs one and two for the Colombo Kings were the same. 26 off the first, 26 off the second as well. So 52 for one it was after two overs. And even though that last one was good, 35 for none at this stage, they're still well behind the eight ball. Prianja now into the attack. Just a half a shot, really. Look at where he was. Look at where Chandimal was. The wicketkeeper generally follows the line of the ball. And he was the only one who appealed. Interesting choice this Ashan Priyanjan coming on now. Um, when you've got Kwais Ahmed also in your tank. The, uh, the only way I can think of that and the only reasoning sense it makes is simply because there's two right-handers there. Danushka Gunatalaka. Very, very good. Six off the last ball. You want to Shmanta Chimera to exit and closes over. Oh, he's tried to hit that one a long way, but he's played and missed. If you have downloaded the app that we've been talking about, the My 11, Cir My 11 Circle app, and you've picked your team and you've got some key players involved in the game today, I'll tell you what, you would have been extremely busy so far. You would have had Andre Russell, I'm sure, about that. You've been playing with some champions with that app. But uh, no doubt throughout this uh, tournament, we're having a lot of fun with that. That's leg side, hit the pad, couple of dot balls. The move paying off. Left-handers, you'd like to bring the off-spinner, but it's not that you're expecting this pitch to turn or get it to grip. So it's basically going to go on with the arm. He's just cramping them with change of pace. Halfway through the third over, one run only. They've got to be big boundaries now. That is also just uh, a little trot. That's all it is for one. So two runs off four balls in this over. He's bolted well around the wicket, into the pads, just skidded on, not giving them any room to free their arms. Been a good over so far. 60 required off 14 balls. Goodness me. It's another dot ball again into the pads cramping him up again our timer is wasting time yeah. oh, he's picked up a wicket that is an extraordinary over that is magnificent stuff it has just conceded two runs and also has picked up a wicket. The one of those was a leg by. And in a game where everyone's been scoring at 20 or maybe even 25 and over, how do you bowl an over for a single? Zazai for six, 37 for one.
There's 12 balls left in this match, and looking at that equation, I think you can do the maths. It is going to be extremely difficult. Yes, there's nine wickets in hand, but goodness me, there's going to be some serious hitting required here. Afridi has just arrived. That is uh, just a little bit of hope, I guess, for the Gold Gladiators. He's at the non-strikers in five runs of all required. The wicket. Tikshila Di Silva. Takes it easy when everyone's been struggling to hold on to that ball. Yeah, it was a unbelievably good over as well by Prihanjan. He got his lines right, he round the wicket into the pads, no room for them to free their arms, nothing to get under, and he got his just rewards for the pressure he built at the back end of the innings. Some serious experience there, 321 games with that strike rate, 154 throughout his career. Two overs remaining, needing 60. Yesterday, in a certain passage of playing two overs, Afridi scored about 42, if I remember right. Still short. Oh, they've gone to sleep. The Gladiators, it's 11.52 p.m. Just looks a bit like that. Or are they in lockdown, Hazy? <laughs> All that for a dot ball. There is protection out there. They'll try and... Uh, no, they won't. They want a 3D on strike. They want as much of a 3D on strike as possible, I think, for the rest of this game. Yep, it's their only hope, and they've gone back to the to the experience, the, the massive experience again of Isuru Dana and the master of the change of pace. Ten balls remaining, ten sixes needed. Well, if anyone's going to be doing it. The only man who can, Shahid Bumbu Mufridi. Just again, have a look at Adana here. He knows exactly what he wants to do to Afridi. He's got a strategy. He's just making sure all the guys are in exactly the right spot. He knows exactly what the plan is. He's thought about it. Wide outside the line of off stump, and it is called a wide in the end. Afridi called it, and he got it. Yeah, I think he I think he called that based on the on his delivery that was called wide in, in the last over. Let's have a look. Change of pace. Yeah, probably umpires probably just got that right, I think. Yes, yes, too harsh. Oh, it was I who was harsh. Yes. <laughs> so again there's gonna be no pace there's uh, no men back at third man or, or fine leg nice and full squeezing it down through the third man region and that's gone for four that's a my 11 circle champion shot and he wants a new bat on no russell did earlier a freedy now wants a new bat as well but well, very well ball still gone for four but that's the nature of the game as a bowler as a player you have to understand that soak it up and focus on what's next yeah, and he set his field, his field as well. We've seen a deep mid-wicket, deep long on, deep long off, deep extra cover, and deep cover point. It tells you what he's going to bowl. He's going to go slow, he's going to vary, vary his pace, and as long as he executes, if he goes for four, it's unlucky. If he executes it properly, he'll hit this field. If he misses, the field's not going to matter. Because that's how powerful these players are these days. It's going to go over. Can he finish strong with three sixes and three balls? Obviously not. That's a dot ball. I'm very surprised with that. He got some shape on it. This ball should be wet. A little bit of hoop back into a reading. But it was more the, the length that defeated him. Yeah, again, using all his experience, he's head and shoulders above anybody else here tonight. There we go. A little bit of shape back, you're right, Russ. A little bit of shape. A very good seam. He presented that seam very, very well. 
A wet ball, that happening? Wow. Slice that away. Has it got through? Yes, it has. Pick the gap. I told you, get it right, concede four. You're still winning because you're saving your team too. Get the math right. And when you have runs on the board, you're good. He's not happy with his boundaries, Afridi. He knows he's got to be uh, bigger than that. He's got to go over for sixes. That's uh, their only chance. A little bit of a uh, chat between the two a couple of balls ago. He was signaling the fact there was a bit of in-swing back towards him. And then at the end of uh, that delivery, again, a little bit of interaction. Nothing wrong with that. Ten off the over, one ball remaining. That's another boundary. So 14 off that over. He's not happy, Afridi. He's got a bit grumpy tonight. Wasn't happy with their fielding. And shaking his head a little bit as well. 51 for one. Just a quick look at the broadcast partners for the Lanka Premier League. And uh, we had three hours of rain. If you stuck around, and let's hope you did, or tuned back in, you'd have witnessed something really special from Ronald Russell. 65 off 19 balls early today. The digital partners as well. Nine fours and three sixes. That certainly was worth watching. If you happen to miss it, I'm sure you're going to catch them some highlights as well. Case Ahmed now to bowl the final over. the single the required rate 54 game done as you say Mark you might as well throw in the white towel now game over what if it rains now it's been raining boundaries I'm not meaning boundaries it rains yeah It'd be very interesting because it won't be a game <laughs> The thief in the night, the rain. Oh. Bit of flight, bit of turn. He's a very good bowler, kick case. I mean, uh, he had he was particularly good with the Hobart Hurricanes in the Big Bash uh, last year. I think he's um he's he's he is a very very fine bowler. Is it going to be out? Yes, it is out. Case Armand has picked him up. We're not going to see the flip at 11:59 uh, p.m. Going to wait a little bit uh, looser, I think, early in the day before he gets a flip underway. Case Armand, very good catch, running backwards. Ashan Priyanjan. That bowler that he bowled changed the game. One run, one wicket. Takes a catch. Shahid Afridi. He's gone. Too much to do for him too. Well, Shahid Afridi, it's 52 for 2. Well, they've asked him to hang around. So that would mean the only reason that would be to check the front leg. For checking if, if the batsman crossed, Afridi doesn't need to hang around. Azam Khan, new man. So Hidafridi is the last to go for a dozen runs. Azam Khan has uh, arrived in the middle now. Three overs left in this. Sorry, three balls left in this game, actually. 
Strike rates uh, certainly handy. Which is a bridge too far. So many runs to get and only three balls to go. Just gone past midnight. Local time in Sri Lanka. Case okay, Armour has picked up his first. One for one, his return at this stage. leg nicely bold slow through the air that's what's uh, allowing him to get some turn is it another is it another more okay, case Ahmed no it isn't it's actually another but it's another six That's unlucky. He's bowled a very, very good over. Again, change of pace has been amazing. Azam Khan hitting through the line. Let's see if this one went over. No, four. Isuru Dana, he should have caught that. It's not a six. It's a my 11 circle champion shot. Last ball. Still having a dip. What's he done to finish? He's picked up another big one. Six more runs. A couple of big sixes to finish. And that is outstanding work from Andre Russell. He is the star, that's for sure. And the Colombo Kings have got up again. They won the soup over in game number one. They've now won this one in a five-over game. You won by 34 runs in a five-over game. Andre Russell has beaten the goal gladiators on his own he scored 65 in 19 the gladiators 62 in 30. it's an incredible performance and if you wanted one player in a five over game the man on screen dre russ is the guy that you would that you would pick without a doubt any day of the week i'm gonna add that to a t20 game as well actually not just a five yeah, probably, that's probably good, right. Let's go 5, 10, 15 and 20. There's a reason why he's got so many uh, trophies, so many medals. He's run around the world in all the franchises. And he's allowed to wear different coloured shoes too. Well, great job done by the Colombo Kings. Two wins in two. One very tight, so they're finding ways to win. Dominant in every way. Ball gladiators, plenty to think about. I uh, certainly have. Kings getting up by uh, 34 runs, so that's two games they've played, two games they've won. And it's the exact opposite, I'm afraid, for the ball uh, gladiators. Play two, and haven't uh, won one. At this stage, just a reminder also that five teams in the competition, the top four, go through to the end. Up the semi finals, and then those two winners knockout situation go through to the final. So there's the start. Well, he was just absolutely sensational. 26 runs of his own bat in the first over set the tone, that's for sure. And then, of course, the Kings and his 26 off the second, and it's got them to 52 runs off two overs. And it was uh, quite dramatic stuff from the Kings. There's the coach, Herschel Gibbs, Mickey. Yeah, the super coach, Herschel Herman Gibbs. Him and Regana Harris will be very, very happy. They two from two and sitting top of the table, I would have thought. Gaul, Gaul Gladiators have got a little bit of work to do. They've got a little bit to think about. They join the Candy Tuskers, both yet to get off the mark in this competition. Six more games to go, so it's all, all's not lost as yet. But you have to react fast. That's the key. The Gaul Gladiators, Gunatilaka not out on 30. Strike rate of 200 when you're chasing. A score with a required rate of 19 plus, just not gonna do it. Zazai 6, Safridi 12, Azam Khan 10. Too much to do, just 62 for 2 in 5. Udana was good, none for 33, but that over from Priyanjan, unbelievable in the circumstances. One for one. Oh. 
Right, Ice, let's look at the match summary. Kings, superb. 96 runs off their five overs, three hours of rain. That's why we got to that situation. Russell was sensational. Evans, a uh, little cameo from him. And Fernando picked up one. Gladiators in reply, 62 for two. And not too many runs with the bat. And uh, wickets were shared as well. But the Kings got up by 34 runs. So it was comprehensive from the boys from Colombo. Right, right, bottom line is that the Colombo Kings won comfortably by 34 runs. And thankfully the rain stopped. And thankfully we uh, saw something really special, which was uh, magnificent to see. Right, right, there's all the points table at the moment. Up at number one is the Colombo Kings. They played two, one, two, and their net run rate is really positive. They've got four points. Dumbulla Viking played one, 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 and they've got a couple of points. Jaffna Stallions have also got two points as well. The same result for them at this stage. The Tuskers, Candy Tuskers at number four, two, and haven't won any. And the Gorg Gladiators in the same boat as well, play two, and haven't got any points along with the uh, Tuskers. So they're struggling at the bottom there. But uh, we saw a terrific individual performance basically today, which uh, got the boys at the top there further ahead again. Right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to join uh, the boys upstairs in the studio. And also, of course, we'll be hearing from the uh, captains of the presentation. It's a big match up uh, for underneath that. Oh, it's a full toss. 